when your gluten VPN goes down and comes back up, the Docker apps that are using the VPN service are not going to be working anymore. How do you make sure that they come back online as well? Let's find out. What's up Geek Army, on and back again with one more video. In my last video, we saw how to set up gluten and put a qubit torrent behind the gluten VPN service. During the video, I also explained that there is one problem, which is when we restarted the gluten VPN container, the internet on the qubit torrent container went off which is the expected behavior. This is the kill switch. So we'll have to make sure that we manually recreate a qubit torrent every time the VPN goes down and comes back up. But fortunately, there is a solution for this, the unhealth. And that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate today. How can we use the unhealth to make sure that the qubit torrent container comes back up again online after VPN goes down and comes back up. So let's find out. But before we move forward, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when that next video comes out. And if you really like what I have been doing with the series starting from the very beginning to all the way now, going step by step through the whole process, then consider becoming a member that would really help me out and that really enables me to make more and more videos. So let's move on. Let's find out how to set up DN Health and make sure that your Cupid Torrent container comes back up online when your VPN goes down and comes back up. All right, as always, uh, I am on my Proxmox web interface on Proxmox LXC 800, which is the container that we have been building continually over my past videos. We're gonna continue working on that. At this point, it already has traffic. Right here, you can see the traffic dashboard. I'm already SSH'd into the container. So if I do sudo docker ps, we should see what's already running all of which were built in my past videos. I just need to type in my password, right? So there you go. So you can see all the containers that are running right now. You can see that there's qubit torrent, there is gluten, which is what we finished adding at the end of my last video. And at that time I demonstrated the problem that could happen where VPN goes down and comes back up, a qubit torrent loses connectivity to the internet. And this is what we're going to try and solve today. So for this, we're going to use once again, my gluten VPN guide that we used in my last video. So gluten docker guide, the link will be in the description below. So watch out for that. So if I move over to the table of contents, auto healing is what we're going to discuss today. What does auto healing do? It's basically three steps. First, we're going to be adding a health check to the qubit torrent container, which will basically try to make a call for example.com website every minute. And if it's not able to reach example.com, then it means the internet to qubit torrent container is out. So when that's out, the status becomes unhealthy at that point, D unhealth, which is a separate service kicks in and kind of tries to restart qubit torrent. So it becomes healthy again. So this is what happens. Those are the three steps we're going to do. First, let's start by adding the health check right here is the health check code. You can also go to my GitHub repository, which is right here, start by over 2,700 people. So there's a lot of valuable information here. This is my real setup. So check it out. So we're going to go into the compost folder and the folder that I have for my home server. So if I go in here, I should be able to see qubit torrent. So let me scroll down right here. And here's all the Docker compost information. Now, until this point, whatever I'm highlighting right now is what we created in my past videos. We left out the rest and that's what we're going to add today. We're going to copy this over to the Docker compost file. This is why I like Mobax term because there's an SFTP browser on the left and I can just right click on Qubit Torrent and edit it. I think I may already have it open. I don't know. Yes, I do have it open. So two times now. So I'll close one instance right here at the end. We're going to paste those lines that we just copied over. For now, we're going to comment out these two lines because we don't have the unhealth enabled yet. So let's just do the health check right now. Okay, so if I'm gonna do a Docker compost up, which is DC up, 
bash alias that I like to use to simplify my Docker and Docker Compose commands. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, check out the link in the description below and that will take you to an article on my website that where I explain how I use bash aliases to simplify Docker and Docker Compose command. So here DC app would be Docker Compose app. So I'm gonna do that right now and kubebittorrent should recreate because of the new lines that we just added to the Docker Compose file. So now I am going to demonstrate the problem one more time. So I would restart gluten, DC rec gluten, and this should cut off the internet connectivity for kubebittorrent because of the kill switch. And now the health check com comes in. If kubebittorrent is not able to access internet, it should become unhealthy. So let's check that. So sudo docker ps or dps, my bash alias. If I do that right now, you can see it's in uh, starting status. That means something happened. So let's check it again. At some point, it should become unhealthy because it's not able to access the internet. So it's not there yet. It might take a few seconds. Let's give it a, few, a minute or so and check back and it should become unhealthy. And there you go. Now it's unhealthy. It just takes a while. So it's unhealthy even though gluten is healthy. You can see that right here. Gluten has internet connectivity, which means VPN is working, but Qubit Torrent is still not able to connect to the internet. And this is what hopefully the unhealth will help solve for us. So now let's add the unhealth. Where do you get the Docker Compose from? Once again, in my GitHub repo, there is the D unhealth right here. And we're gonna copy this over and create a new Docker Compose file in the same folder. It's a new file, D unhealth.ym. Okay, so, and then we're gonna edit this file and paste the contents that we just copied over. There's really nothing to change here. D unhealth does require access to the socket proxy. This is why it's part of the socket proxy network. Where is the socket or Docker socket available? It's right here, TCP port 2375 on the container socket dash proxy. If you're not using socket proxy, you have to make some changes here, but that's going to be out of the scope for this video but if you have been following my videos this should be no problem if you have been following my guides this should be not a problem so i'm going to save this right one and that's it that's been done and now we have to add the unhealth to our master docker compost file which i think is already open as well right here so we're going to scroll scroll all the way down copy this line and duplicate it and change the name to the unhealth dot yaml which is the new file that we created now the d unhealth docker compost has been added to the master docker compost file so we're gonna do dc up but before we do that let's also enable this these two lines right here because we now have d unhealth so these labels can work so let's save that as well we did that now if i do a dc up again both the services should restart you can see D unhealth and qubit torrent are starting. So right now, I think what we can do from our side is done. If VPN goes off for whatever reason, there is a disconnect. You don't necessarily have to restart the gluten container. Only gluten stays active, but VPN drops for whatever reason. Maybe the server is unhealthy, whatever. We don't know if that happens then Torn will automatically be restarted when VPN becomes active again. Neon Health should do it. Now, there are some situations where this can be problematic. This is a known bug right here. You can see there is an open bug on the unhealth container where sometimes it does not auto start Torrent. One of those situations would be if the whole gluten container is recreated. So that's why I couldn't show you the problem going away the same way I did when the problem occurred. For example, if I do DC rec gluten right now, gluten restarts and becomes healthy and Qubitorn became unhealthy eventually. But the unhealth should have restarted it, but it won't in this case because of that bug. So let's try that and I'm going to follow the unhealth logs this time and let's see oh that was in the command anyway let's wait for gluten to restart now after a few seconds gluten should become healthy and vpn should become active 
I'm gonna follow DC logs D on health. This should follow the logs right here. In, a, in about a minute, you're gonna see a message that says QBitTorrent container is unhealthy. This is because internet activity or internet has been cut off on that container and D on health will try to restart the container, but it would fail because of that bug. Let's see if that happens here. You see the notification, QBitTorrent container is unhealthy but it failed to restart the container. This is because when gluten container restarted, the ID of the qubit torrent container also changed. This is why the unhealth is not able to find that qubit torrent container again using this ID right here, which is now different than what it was before. So it can't restart. This is a known issue. Hopefully uh, this will be fixed at some point, but right now there's no solution. So as long as gluten itself is not recreated and you lose VPN connectivity and it comes back up, you should not have any problem with this. So there you have it. Now, this is the end of the three part series. In the first part, we had Qubit Torrent set up just the plain old way and available behind traffic reverse proxy at Qubit dot simplehomelab.com, no VPN privacy protection. And then we added Gluten VPN with Surfshark VPN WireGuard protocol to protect our privacy while using Qubit Torrent. But there was one problem that still existed, which is what we tried to solve with this third part video. And we solved it for the most part. As long as we don't have any issues with the gluten container, we should still have D unhealth doing its job and restarting Qubit Torrent when the VPN connection drops and comes back up again. So that was it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something out of it. As always, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. If you have been liking or if you have followed what I've done so far and like it, please consider becoming a member and that would help me out a lot as well. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Go Geek Army.